Welcome, my friends, to Old Stonewell Farm, where I promised when I returned for my trip to Pennsylvania Dutch country that I would gather you around the farm table for an announcement. But before we get to that announcement, I have to deal with an abundance of pumpkins that I still have left here at the farm. Luckily, I heard of a local farmer who would take your extra pumpkins to feed his animals in exchange for one pound of pork. I think that's a great deal and it kind of reminds me of a simpler way of living when neighbors helped one another and exchanged their goods and bartered with the extra abundance that they had. While I was in Pennsylvania Dutch country, I couldn't resist but to buy another one of these paintings that I adore so much that are very indicative of the Pennsylvania Dutch art. The writing is known as Fraktor, which is from the 16th century, a dramatic style of font. I also like the use of imagery. For example, the three tulips, they represent love, hope, and charity. But I got this specific picture because I loved the saying, I think we all need to be reminded to greet one another with a smile, especially as we experience election fatigue. A better time to come to you than when our country is embroiled with the elections. And like many of my friends, I too have just turned off the news because what is being put out there is just so much harmful rhetoric. I was talking to a friend of mine just yesterday and she serves a small church down in Pennsylvania. I'm here in Vermont and she is basically heartbroken and admitted that next year she is probably going to seek early retirement, even though she really doesn't have a lot of money to fall back on and to live off of. But she's just so tired of the fighting. It's not about the right or the left, who's right, who's wrong. What I'm seeing is that both sides are now at fault. That the conservatives and liberals, they're both harming humanity because there's folks in the middle that are not being heard. There are pastors like my friend who can see both sides and is in the middle ground and is just horrible. So on this day, Tuesday, election day, I decided to take a step back and to really find hope again in the world. And I do that by unplugging from the world and turning to the beauty that's all around us and turning to God's word that gives me hope. I'll be preaching this Sunday in a local church and the lectionary is about end times and when will we know when the time is going to be it and what are the signs? And while it seems very apocalyptic, it really is about great hope that no matter what happens, no matter how crazy the world might be getting, to not lose hope that the joy and the promise we have is that God is still with us. Throughout. So I was holding that scripture in my heart all day and I realized that Old Stonewell Farm is my little haven that I'm creating. And I sometimes feel like I'm not useful in the world. I feel like I'm not doing my part to make the world a better place. Should I be out there protesting like my friends? Should I be advocating more at a higher level in government? What should I be doing to make change happen or to make the world a better place? And sometimes I feel that I'm being a coward or, you know, not doing enough. But today I realize I am still being part of, of God's kingdom building. This is where I'm growing grace. 
I might fail at growing a garden. I might not have my goats yet. It might not be a full-fledged farm, but I have come to the realization today that Old Stonewall Farm is the place where I am growing grace. And sometimes I fail, but the beauty of growing grace is that the next morning I could wake up and till the soil of faith again and know that with God, I could sprinkle those seeds and once again, try to bring grace into this world. So I'm growing grace. I'm collecting my pumpkins to share with a local farmer who would like them to feed their animals. And I'm also going to take one of these pumpkins and I have um, found a great idea to cut it in half and then fill it up with um, bird seed and any other thing that the birds might like to eat. I have some cranberries that they might like. And I'm going to create a pumpkin bird feeder. So, so I've come to the realization that even though the world is crazy and everything is just getting outrageously out of control, not just emotions and rhetoric and anger and hate, but the prices of things, the prices of groceries and heating fuel, it can make you really down. But I'm going to look around at the beauty and I'm going to just trust that God is still in control because he is. If you've been watching Old Stonewall Farm, you know that uh, just the other day I was away with my husband in Pennsylvania Amish country and I said I would come back because I have an announcement of a new addition coming to Old Stonewall Farm. And that new addition is, it's an ornament that I bought my husband for his birthday. It's a dog bone and it says, woof. We will be welcoming a Bernie's Mountain dog in early December. For those of you who have been coming to the farm for a while, you might remember that I had a Bernie's Mountain dog named Sophie. Being that the dogs are Swiss dogs, I named her after my uh, paternal grandmother in Switzerland. And this time around, we're going to be welcoming a boy Bernese Mountain Dog. Yes, they're going to get really big, but I just felt it was right to get a Bernese Mountain Dog that is a male this time. And I originally wanted to name it after my Swiss grandfather, whose name was Otto. But I also promised my husband that he could name this dog. So it's not going to be Otto. We're still trying to decide what is going to be the little puppy's name. But the puppy will be coming to the farm early December and I cannot wait for you to meet this cute little furry bundle of joy and probably a lot of not stressed in a bad way, but I'm bracing myself for having a puppy again. I, uh, I know that it's going to be a lot of work, but that's the news I wanted to share with you that the new addition is coming to Old Stonewall Farm. Prayers for my cat, Ruru, who really didn't like Sophie, but I'm praying that Ruru will get adjusted to her new, his new brother. So in this world that just seems to be filled with bad news and a lot of stress, I wanted to come to you today and share with you the Bernese Mountain Dog that is coming and we're still praying on what the name is going to be. But I cannot wait for you to meet this little puppy. So go forth and know no matter where you are, that that space that you're in right now that is a space in which you can create grace. Where you are living, where you're called to be, that is your mission field. We don't have to go out into the world and have these great big schemes of saving the world. If each one of us did our part to live out love and faith and trust and just kindness right where we are to the neighbors around us. 
then imagine how incredibly beautiful this world would be. I've come to the realization that what I'm farming here is a crop of grace. Woof. Come thou fount of every blessing to my heart to sing thy grace Streams of mercy never ceasing Call for songs of loudest praise Teach me some melodious sonnet Song by flame Praise his name, I'm fixed upon it. The name of God's redeeming love. Hitherto thy love has blessed me. Thou hast drawn me to this place. And I know thy hand will lead me safely home.